Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, of course, you know, a uh, question comes again and again, and a lot of comments, of course, go through um, about, you know, antivirus software. And some people pay for antivirus to believe it's better. Some people use what I use, which is fine. Uh, in reality, there is no reason to buy antivirus. That is not protecting you more than anything else. Uh, because security doesn't happen at this level, and this is very important to to understand. Now, the question that I got today, which I get from time to time, is so antivirus doesn't do anything. It's not zero, and that's not what I say when I talk about security that antivirus gives you. Antivirus has, and the way that it's actually done is it will detect a lot of the things that have been here for a while. So think about this, uh, and this is valid for every antivirus, even if you pay big gun money for um, you know a full package, you are not protected more than any other antivirus. It is a false sense. Uh, you know, antivirus company t will, will basically just tell you what they want to tell you to sell their program. It's as simple as that. Uh, they're not going to tell you that, uh, you know, it's all right to use just the Windows Security app. It's fine. Of course, they'll never say that because they want to sell their antivirus. And when you use free versions of their antivirus, you might think, well, you know, I use the free version. So, I, you know, yeah, the free version is a way to bring you close to a paid version because a lot of people that use a free antivirus eventually pass on to the paid antivirus of the same company. That's why free isn't really free. And um, not counting that some have all sorts of ways of using that free version to take the time to snoop a little bit on you at the same time. The idea is, um, first of all, you know, whatever you use and you're happy with, and if you pay money for antivirus, well, that's your thing. Okay. And, and, do whatever you want. The idea is to understand that if, whether it's paid, where whether it's Windows security that you already have in Windows, it will detect what it knows. And what it knows is a list of things that are discovered over time. So it will, on some virus, actually detect malware from an email or from, um, you know, maybe a download. It will, on some cases, the ones that are, you know, well-known and that their signature hasn't changed. When I say that antivirus is not important, the reason is, is first of all, whatever you do that has a virus, it's your decision. It doesn't come, you know, magically into Windows. You don't have your computer on the internet with the desktop screen for six hours and, you know, your antivirus does nothing when you do that. It has nothing to do because you ain't doing anything to get a virus. If your system is up to date with the latest security patches, not using it but leaving it on the internet for 24 hours, ain't going to bring you a virus in any way. And even if you turn it off, not even have one, you'd still be safe. The thing is, is that every week there are thousands of new viruses, and, and I mean a thousands. And of course, there's also thousands of variants of something that already exists that might be in a list in your antivirus. Well, the variant might not be detected anymore. They have changed the signature in a way that your antivirus can't identify it. Antivirus works in two ways. It works in, I know these viruses, and I can recognize them when I actually uh, see the code go through in a download, in an email, in you know, whatever you have, a USB thumb drive. And it has also a way of trying to figure out if something you're downloading is a virus or not. 
and that is a different detection, and that is the one that is the flawed problem in antivirus. It searches for patterns that it thinks are malware. Uh, that's why sometimes you have false positive. If it's a little too aggressive, it might think that one piece of code is malware when in reality it's fine. But the problem is that the malware done today, the quality of the malware, the code that they actually use is most of the time totally undetected by your antivirus. So unless you've got a virus that's already been listed, most of the new viruses that you'll be in contact are often new types of viruses. And these types of malware, well, it has a good chance of not even being able to detect it. That's why I always say, don't rely on an antivirus. It doesn't protect you. It will protect you from a certain number of malware that it knows exists and that the code base is not changed. But it rarely detects more than... The, most of the tests done um, show that all the new viruses, when they're not already listed, um, barely get more than 30 or 40% with their, um, you know, kind of trying to figure out what is this code exactly. That means more than half of the viruses or the malware that are brand new that you have this week that you could be in contact with are probably not going to be detected by any antivirus, any, and I mean any. It will not be detected more on a full-fledged paid antivirus than it will on Windows Security or Windows Defender. And that's where the problem is in security of antivirus. It's not zero. I do not recommend not having one, as it could, in some case, definitely help you if you did something. But the security doesn't come from there. If you've got malware coming into your PC, it's because of an action that you did, which is almost always the same pattern. Clicking on an attachment in an email you shouldn't have or deciding not to put your security updates in windows and leaving your windows updates closed and shut down that this is the way to really really get malware and of course downloading illegal software cracks for games things like that it's always the same pattern it's never really changed much uh, in general uh, so that's why your security relies on you having your system up to date for security and just, you know, using common sense, not downloading stuff you shouldn't, not clicking on everything you see, and not clicking on suspicious uh, email uh, attachments that you have not asked for. It's, it's all in there. And, of course, uh, Facebook Messenger or any social media app that, you know, you have these links to mysterious places where you need to download whatever, uh, you know, uh, this is the way that you get malware. And if you do that, chances are you'll be bitten and have viruses anyways because a lot of them will not be detected. So that's where it actually happens. What people think is that, well, antivirus knows and can know. There are thousands and thousands of new malware that are totally undetected by pretty much every antivirus every single week. That's why security relies on you and the security updates. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.